Hello my Vida Happy friends, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you're new, I invite you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to activate the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And we are doing in January the our 31 day declutter challenge reversed. So um, today is day six and we are decluttering 26 items that I will be showing you at the end of this video. But uh, I am also sharing a quote of the day that I believe has brought value to my life. And these quotes are um, from websites, from family members, from anywhere I see it online. Um, or online or anywhere that I read it. Um, I would write them down and if I find value, I try to apply it to my life and that's why I'm sharing it with you. So the quote for today is, knowing others is wisdom. Knowing yourself is enlightenment. Knowing others is wisdom. Knowing yourself is enlightenment. Um, I'm not sure this quote where um, whose it is, but um, I read it online a long time ago, and I really think it's a very strong quote. Um, and I wanted to share it with you because if you really think about it, we have all met people in our lives, either in the past or maybe they're still present in our lives. But um, these people could be someone, a co-worker, someone you worked for, or maybe a family member that is not with us anymore. Uh, maybe a friend um, that you used to have and you don't hang out with. And if you have these people um, in your life at the moment, then honestly, it's very important that you spend time and talk to them. Because when they're gone, uh, you will miss them, you will miss those conversations, and you would questions will come up that you should have asked. But um, if they're alive, but they're just not in your life anymore, a lot of the times we meet people somewhere and we just have conversations with them. And they can, just having a conversation with someone can just give you wisdom. It's like they're passing on wisdom to you for free. And that is either by a conversation or maybe they're giving you advice. But a lot of the times we remember something and we, well, at least I do. I remember who taught me that, who told me that, who, um, who gave me that advice. And I really think that's, that's wisdom that we can take for free and try to apply it to our lives. Um, also, um, nowadays we're blessed with, um, with the internet and, uh, we can meet people through YouTube, uh, listen to their thoughts. We can even take lessons, but, um, if we hear people on YouTube that they talk about their lives or they give us, um, lessons or advice or ex they express, um, their knowledge and their experience, that is wisdom that they're passing on to us. Um, also through vlogs online. Um, a lot of the times people write vlogs and it could be things that they're teaching us or it could be experience that they're, they're sharing with us or something that they went through that we, if it's something bad, it's something that we don't have to go through it. Um, they share it with us and we can learn from it. Um, also, we can learn through books. We can uh, meet people through books and um, take their wisdom, um, take um, their advice on those books. A lot of the times, um, we can also um, get to know the world through books and um, they teach us how um, other places is they show us pictures of their travels and that is also on YouTube. I really think that by um, trying to apply all this wisdom that we've come and gathered through our lives through meeting other people, it really will um, make our lives better and happier. Um, and I really do think that if we take time to to know ourselves. To, um, 
to be with ourselves would be very, very important because we can, um, we can learn to what we like, what we love. Um, take a lot of the times our lives is so busy. Uh, when we're younger, we're like with friends all the time, or maybe you're partying or working, or it's just always so busy and um, and our lives is so loud. Then you get married, you have kids, you have work, you have everything. You have very little time to yourself, or maybe you don't even give yourself time to um, to get to know you. And um, when we get older, we probably don't want to be by ourselves. We are always wanting to be busy and active and everything. And honestly, just taking time to yourself and um, just to yourself with your thoughts, getting to know you, um, you would really uh, be amazed to, with everything you can know yourself. You will be amazed with the thoughts that come to your mind. And um, honestly, you, I really think this will make, uh, help you to be happier if, um, if you get to know yourself because you'll end up doing what you love. You'll get to know yourself to see what it is that you love to do. Maybe you want to study something. Maybe you want to take another hobby. Maybe um, you realize um, the job that you, that you have you don't like it anymore, but you want to change careers. But this is if you're not so busy with just having your mind busy all the time and on the go and on schedules and all of that. Just take time to yourself. Um, I usually do this when I'm in the shower at least. I used to always play something when I was in the shower. And now I'm just relaxing, thinking when I'm in the shower. Um, happy thoughts or just kind of meditating there's something called shower meditation and it really works you should try it and um, you can even look it up online and I really think that works a lot because um, as I said if you get to know yourself you'll do the things you love and you'll live a happier life so um, I that's all I have for right now on this uh, quote I hope it inspires you or brings you a thought of someone or something or a different quote or something you can share with us. And again, the quote is, knowing others is wisdom, knowing yourself is enlightenment. And I hope it brings value to your life. Uh, for, for now, on day six, I will show you my 26 items to declutter. Here I show you 26 items for day six I have these two overall sets beautiful overall sets that we really love my seven-year-old used to wear them they're in perfect condition they're good brand and he used to wear them all the time and we used to love seeing him with them we saved them for fi my five-year-old but he will not wear them these um, pants right here fit him still but he has a lot of clothes. I recently decluttered their clothes, but he still has a lot. So I'm just getting rid of these clothes. Um, these shorts by summer, they're, he's not going to fit in them probably. I have this nice shirt that I love seeing him, with, seeing him with it, but it's not warm enough for now. I have these pajamas. I have this set of pajamas that I gave him to wear like two days ago and they were falling from his waist because the elastic doesn't work anymore and it's too loose so maybe someone who knows how to sew can fix them I have these shirts that I got out I'm honestly so tired to, of seeing him with that orange one it's very worn because he wants to wear it all the time these short sleeve shirts he might not fit in them by summer but even if he does he doesn't really like short sleeve shirts um this shirt right here it's nice but he doesn't really wear it he thinks it's a dressy shirt <laughs> i have i went through my desk and i found these this calendar is like a school calendar 
Um, it still has half of 20, 2021, but I'm honestly not going to use it. I have other calendars. Those, those scissors are for little kids, so they train in cutting and a, car, and a box opener. I have these shelves that I've had for many years. I've used a lot, but I am not going to use them now. I have this nice new gingerbread house set. I know it's after Christmas. But since we were on quarantine, I couldn't give it away sooner. And I didn't even think about it. My, my husband brought two. We only used one. 